Ah, uh, hello and good morning to you. This is Dr. Bill Bledsoe leading you in, once again, a wonderful session of your prayers, your heartfelt concerns poured aloud out to God in the privacy of your own home. Your walk with God, your vision of God as you see God, not mine, not, not anybody else's. Your walk with God is different from everybody else in the whole world. So you, you, if you want to, it's always there. God's always within you. All you have to do is take the time to quietly meditate, love God, talk to God, give God your heartfelt concerns and fears, and listen, and God will guide you and form a relationship with you. He's always been there, always been trying. Sacred Heart Yoga is just one method of where you don't have to think about it. You just can listen, do the slow movements in this, and, and pray the whole while. It's meditative prayer. That's a, a word that I've not really heard of that came to me this morning. That's what it's all about. It's all about meditative prayer, quiet prayer, quiet time, listening, private time. And so Sacred Heart Yoga gives you that. I just begin the prayers, but you must finish them with your own heartfelt concerns and your walk with God, which is different from mine. So we begin with my prayer. God, I thank you for this wonderful method of prayer, of healing our bodies with body movements and stretching, healing our hearts, healing our minds, healing our, our spirits with prayer. I thank the generations that have brought this to us, the house of Abraham, the house of David from Jesus, his mother Mary, Father Joseph, and finally, Virginia Ellen, who put it in a book, so anybody in the world can practice this ancient method of prayer anytime they want. I thank you, God. Amen. Now, if you'll repeat after me, we're going to say the Sacred Heart Yoga morning prayer. Beloved God, I devote this practice this day to the evolution of my soul, to the fulfillment of my destiny in service to your love, O oh God. And I allow myself to be purified of fear as I rejoice in your kingdom of heaven and your love, O oh God. And I give thanks for these blessings, these moments that I share with my body, my mind, my heart, and my spirit. in oneness with your love, O oh God. And so it is, Amen. Om. Now we're going to try to just clear our minds of the fears and distractions. It's important, very important, to live your life realizing that fear blocks our ability to love. That's just a fact. You may not realize it, but, but it's very simple to understand. If somebody has you in terror because they're pointing a gun to your head or your children's heads, 
you cannot love them. It just doesn't happen. It's not in us. We have to get rid of the fear to be able to feel love of God, love of others. So it's, it's just so important. And we begin by, <clears throat> it's called clearing our energy field, and it's just clearing our minds of fears and distractions. We do this with an arm motion. We take our right arm up to the 12 o'clock position above our heads, let it fall over to the right side, uh, nine, at the three o'clock position, go to our right knee, left knee, nine o'clock position, and then back up to the 12 o'clock position above our heads. As we do this motion, our, repeat after me this prayer. Beloved God, I clear my energy field of anyone or anything standing within. I bless them and I send them into your love, your light, O oh God. Om. Now the rest of the prayers, I'm going to use the words I begin uh, and here our prayers begin with. And when I say that, repeat after me the short little half a sentence that begins a prayer, and then finish it with your own heartfelt concerns. Hopefully, I'll give you plenty of time for you to, to voice everything that's concerning you. And don't worry about it. If, if we don't, you'll have the time the next say, the next movement, the next body posture. So, so it's never anything to stress over or worry about time-wise here. This is a walk with God, and time does not matter. It's love that matters, love of God, loving others. That's what matters, and eliminating our fears. So here, we're going to ask God, how may we serve you this day? And the answer comes to me in no more than a word or two. Sometimes, most of the time, for me, it's a heartfelt feeling that I need to do this this day. Sometimes nothing at all, but don't worry about it. If nothing comes to you, just repeat whatever comes to you, even if it's nothing, over and over during your prayers. And I, I believe 100% that you will get something, an answer from God if you just pray, love God, and listen. Just always, uh, for me, um, it, every time I've, I've done a prayer session, meditative prayer, it's always taught me something. So, um, here we put our right hands over our hearts, and, and I'll... Our prayers begin with, God, how may I serve you this day? Om. Now we're going to stand up and announce out loud what came to us as to how we can serve each day. So here we stand straight and tall, our arms at our sides, our palms forward, and our prayers begin with, God, my intention to serve you this day is to
Om. <clears throat> now we are going to sing the word Amen aloud three times. Any tune that feels right for you, as loud as you want, any pitch, any frequency that feels right to you. Saying the word Amen aloud three times was how an oath was sealed. It wasn't written in Aramaic in Jesus' tongue most of the time. People weren't able to write contracts and keep them. And so uh, it was done with an oath by saying the word Amen aloud three times. That, that sealed the oath. Amen. 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 Now we're going to sit down on the mat. <clears throat> And we're going to lay down on our backs and get into what's called resting position, which is our arms comfortably at our sides, our legs outstretched. And here we Pull our right knee up to our chest and hold it there. And our prayers begin with, God, my true Father, I love you. And I thank you for... Um, now we hold our right foot in our left hand, pull it over to our left thigh, let our right knee fall down to the mat, our right arm gets extended straight above our heads, stretched out down to the mat, and here our prayers begin with, God, my true father, I love you and I thank you for Um. Now we take our right hand, our right foot in our right hand, hold it down near our pelvis, and our left arm gets stretched out straight above our heads this time, down to the mat. And our prayers begin with, God, my true Father, I love you and I thank you for
Um. Now we point our right foot up towards the heavens. And here our prayers begin with. God, my true Father, I love you and I thank you for Um, now we let our right leg go out to the right side of our bodies, extending our leg out, opening our pelvis as wide as we can. And our right leg goes down to the mat. Our arms get extended straight out to the sides from our chest, down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with, God, my true Father, I love you, and I thank you for... Um. Now we <clears throat> turn our heads to the right, keeping our shoulders down flat on the mat. We extend our right foot up towards the heavens, leg straight over to, and then take it over to the left side of our bodies. And here our prayers begin with, God, my true Father, I love you and I thank you for Um. Now we go back to resting position. Our legs outstretched, our arms at our sides, and we pull our left knee up to our chest, holding it there with our arms and our hands. And here our prayers begin with, God, my true mother, I love you and I thank you for Um, now we take our right, left foot in our right hand, pull it over to our right thigh, let our left knee fall down to the mat, and our left arm gets extended straight above our head, stretched out down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with, God, my true mother, I love you and I thank you for
Now we hold our left foot in our left hand. Our right arm gets extended straight above our heads, down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with, God, my true mother, I love you and I thank you for Om. Now we point our left foot up towards the heavens, holding it with our left hand while our right arm still extended above our heads down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with God, my true mother. I love you, and I thank you for all. Now we take our left foot, extend it out to the outside, uh, put it, let it fall down to the mat, our leg extended out straight, out to the outside of our bodies, and we open our pelvis as wide as we can. Our arms fall straight out to the sides from our chest down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with, God, my true mother, I love you and I thank you for Um. Now we turn our heads to the left. And we take our left leg, our left foot pointed up towards the heavens, keeping our left leg straight. And then we move it over to the right side of our bodies, keeping our heads and shoulders down flat on the mat, our shoulders flat on the mat. And our prayers begin with, God, my true mother, I love you and I thank you for Um. Oh. 
Now we go back to resting position, arms at our sides, legs outstretched. And here we're going to, for a second time, try to remove our fears. And here it's called surrendering our fears into God's love. God is nothing but pure love, and so we can freely surrender our fears into it, into love, so that we can love in return. So here we take and put our hands under our sit bones. Lean forward on our elbows. Try to touch the tops of our heads back down to the mat. And our prayers begin with, God, into your love, I surrender my fears of Um. Now we Go back to resting position and we reach for the heavens with our left hand. Let it fall over to the right side of our bodies, down towards the mat. Keeping our arms straight, we take our left, our right hand halfway between our left elbow and left shoulder and stretch it over farther. And here our prayers begin with God while serving your love to all humanity, I choose to Um. Now we reach for the heavens with our right hand. Let it fall over to the left side of our bodies. And we take our left hand halfway between our right shoulder, right elbow, stretch it over farther. And here <coughs> our prayers begin with God in service to your love for humanity, I can Um. <clears throat> now we go back to resting position and we pull both feet up to our pelvis. Our knees kind of pointed heavenward, our soles of our feet down on the mat. And then we let our knees fall out to the sides, down to the mat. Soles of our feet naturally kind of come together. This forms a triangle below our bodies. It's a tabernacle. 
It's a house of God. We form a second tabernacle by putting our hands in prayer position over our hearts and extending them up two-thirds of the way up to the heavens. And in this tabernacle of our hearts, we find God's beautiful chalice overflowing. <coughs> Excuse me. With anything, any gift, anything, it's overflowing with anything we could ever want, desire, or need to be used in service to serving love, God's love to all of humanity. These gifts are all available to us. So here our prayers begin with, God, I drink from your chalice, your gifts to me of Um. Now we take our hands in prayer position down to the mat. And here uh, we let our elbows fall out to the sides, and this forms a triangle above our bodies, or a tabernacle, a house of God above our entire bodies. And here our prayers begin with, God, I thank you for healing my body, my mind, my heart, and my spirit. Um. Now we're going to do what's called the anointing series. We keep our hands in prayer position the whole while. It's four prayers. And we repeat them twice because they are so awfully important. Uh, there are prayers about acknowledging that these gifts come from God, thanking God for them, and promising to only use them in service to serving God's love to all of humanity. So here, keeping our hands in prayer position during all, well, it's eight prayers, four and four. We repeat them twice. We take our hands in prayer position, our thumbs up to our foreheads, and our prayers begin with, God, I anoint your gifts to me of Um. Now we take our thumbs down to our lips and our prayers begin with God, I bless and I will only use them serving your love, your gifts to me of. Oh. 
Now we take our hands down over our hearts in prayer position. And here our prayers begin with. God, I truly thank you for your gifts to me of Um, now the fourth prayer, we do a motion with our hands, keeping them in prayer position. We point our fingers down into our abdomens, towards our abdomens, and extend our arms out straight right above our pelvis at the three o'clock position on a clock, like our arms are the arms of a clock. We move them counterclockwise up towards the heavens, the 12 o'clock position, and then counterclockwise down to the nine o'clock position above our heads. As we do this motion, our prayers begin with, God, I fill my body, my mind, my heart, and my spirit with your gifts to me of Um. Now we begin the second set. You know, we repeat these four prayers a second time by taking our thumbs to our foreheads and our prayers begin with, God, I anoint your gifts to me of Um. <clears throat> now we take our thumbs down to our lips and our prayers begin with, God, I bless and I will only use them serving your love to humanity, your gifts to me of Um. Now we take our hands down over our hearts in prayer position and our prayers begin with, God, I truly thank you for your gifts to me of
Um. Now we go back to resting position. Legs outstretched, arms at our sides. Nope, nope, nope. We got one more thing to do. I don't think we've done it. We, we point our fingers down into our abdomens, extend them out to the three o'clock, 12 o'clock, nine o'clock position. And here our prayers begin with, God, I fill my body, my mind, my heart, and my spirit with your gifts to me of Um. Now we go back to resting position. Legs outstretched, arms at our sides, cross our right ankle over our left ankle, our right wrist over our left wrist, over our hearts. And here our prayers begin with, God, I thank you for protecting me and keeping me safe. Um. Now we roll over on our sides, pushing ourselves back up into sitting position, using our arms and our hands. Here we extend our right leg straight out in front of us. We take our left foot across our right knee. We hold our left knee up near our chest with our right arm. We put our left arm behind our backs for support. Twist our heads, our shoulders, our backs to the left. And here our prayers begin with. God, in service to your love, I desire to... Um, now we switch legs, left leg straight out in front of us. Our right foot goes across our left knee. We hold our right knee with our left arm. Our right arm goes behind our backs for support. Twist our heads, our shoulders, our backs to the right. And here our prayers begin with. God, in service to your love, I will.
Om. Now we get up on our knees. We put our hands in prayer position over our hearts. And our prayers begin with, God, I truly thank you for Om. Now we form a tabernacle with our hands by putting the tips of our thumbs together, the tips of our first fingers together. And we place this tabernacle down on the mat in front of us, and we're going to lean over in child's pose putting our foreheads into this tabernacle. And here, we're going to just take a moment to truly feel the Holy Spirit within us, God's love within us. Om. Now we go back to sitting position, extend our right leg out to the right side of our bodies, take our left foot up to the inside of our right thigh, and here our prayers begin with, God, in service to your love, I will become. Om. Now we take our left leg out to the left side. Our right foot comes up to the inside of our left thigh. And here our prayers begin with. God. 
God, in service to your love, I am. Um, now we go back to resting position. No, not to resting position. I'm sorry. We go back to sitting position. Sitting up straight and tall, we put our hands, palms up on our knees, our thumbs touching our middle two fingers, and this forms two little tabernacles. Houses of God. We keep our back straight and bow forward at our pelvis. And here our prayers begin with, I bow to you, God, for healing my body, my mind, my heart, and my Holy Spirit. Um, now we sit back up straight and tall a second time and we bow forward at our pelvis, keeping our back straight and our prayers begin with, I bow to your love, O oh God, my father, my mother, the one, the oneness in love. Um, now we feel on the left and right side of our pelvis where we're grounded down to the mat. On the left side of our pelvis, we feel God's wonderful white light of love entering our bodies, filling our legs to the tips of our toes filling our abdomens, our spines, our backbones up to our hearts and filling our lungs. This white light of God's love fills our arms to the tips of our fingers. It fills our throats and our minds with God's love, this white light. This white light goes out the tops of our heads like this ever-expanding, wider and wider beacon of light. And this beacon of light expands all the way around the whole world and rains down upon every one of God's living creatures. Now we feel on the right side of our pelvis God's blue light of truth and wisdom. It fills our legs to the tips of our toes. God's blue light fills our abdomens and our backbones with truth. Fills our hearts and our lungs and our arms to the tips of our fingers with truth. It comes up and fills our throats and our minds, and it goes out the tops of our heads, this blue light of truth, and it's ex an expanding, expanding beacon that surrounds the whole earth, it expands out. And it rains down upon every living creature God's truth so that each creature can choose to accept it. And so now we step can step up into the light above our heads and stay as long as we want, ask anything we want of the Holy Spirit. But the one question we should always ask before leaving is, God, 
What do I need to know this day?